Hi guys, I'm Kim and today I'm bringing you my review of Stalking Jack the Ripper by Carrie Manis Calco. First of all, this review will be split into two parts. First the non-spoiler part and then the spoiler part. Although the spoiler part is pretty small because I pretty much just want to gush about the ending. But other than that, it will be spoiler free. So as for this book, I rated it 5 stars because it was just all around amazing. This book, it takes place in the 1880s, right around the time Jack the Ripper is traveling through London. The main character and our heroine of the story is Audrey Rose. She's a young, she's a young woman, a lady, I believe. At least she's like of the finer society, of the higher society. And her uncle is a scientist who works with the police to um, perform post-mortems on dead bodies and just help them solve their case. And while Audrey Rose does like to dress up, to put on makeup, to go shopping, she also likes to help her uncle with his post-mortems, which obviously she has to do in secret because she's a lady and she's supposed to sit around and drink tea with her other ladies and talk about boys and clothes and go shopping and not do much else. So as her uncle is working with the police, he pretty soon is charged with um, taking care of the bodies left behind by Jack the Ripper. And Audrey, as well as her uncle's apprentice, Thomas Creswell, start trying to figure out who Jack the Ripper is. And Audrey goes so far as to stalk through London in the dead of the night to find Jack the Ripper, to surprise him. So she's literally stalking Jack the Ripper. And this is just awesome. I don't know, the, as I said, the plot is just, the plot is really awesome. I like the plot twist at the end, or I'm not sure if it's actually a plot twist, but I like the surprise at the end. I like when you find out who Jack the Ripper actually is. And I like that up until this point, I'd been guessing throughout the whole book. I'd never been sure, I'd always changed my mind. Is it him? Is it him? Who is it? It was just really, really suspenseful and really exciting until the very end, which I really loved. I also really loved the characters, especially Audrey Rose. I loved how she enjoyed being with her uncle and helping him, helping him but she wasn't a tomboy. As I said, she still liked to dress up. Although she was bored to death by sitting around and talking about boys and shopping, this is something she absolutely doesn't enjoy, which I totally understand. But she still likes to dress up and put on makeup and that's just something I really really like because oftentimes if a girl is involved in something that isn't girly, she's put into the tomboy section and doesn't get out and all her femininity is just put down and not shown, so I really like this. And also, other than her, all the other main characters actually do have a developed character. Even some that aren't really prominent in the story do have their own unique character, which is something I really enjoyed. Also, all of the characters were really relatable. All of them had their good sides and their bad sides. All of, all of them had their flaws, as did Audrey Rose which made them even more relatable and I really really liked that. Also it was just well written, also the book was very well written in general and for me as someone who doesn't know anything about the topic all the scientific details seemed accurate. Obviously I do not know if they were accurate but they seemed accurate without seeming to be too detailed so it was interesting to know something about science or to hear, the, hear them talk about it, but it was too much so that I got bored, which I really, really appreciated. And yeah, that's pretty much it for my non-spoiler re review. I really, really enjoyed this book. As I said, I gave it five stars. Please let me know down below in the comments like what you thought about this review or what you now think about the book without having read it. And um, if you plan on reading it or in general what you think about it. Also, if you've liked this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And let's get started with the spoilery part. Her brother was Jack the Ripper. I don't even know what to say. It was just 
amazing. I did not see it coming. Although now, knowing it, I'm like, okay, I suspect everyone but him. So obviously it was him. It's always the person you least expect. But it's just, it was amazing. As I said before, I did not expect it at it all and the whole suspense, never knowing who it is, suspecting everyone, it was just, it was really amazing. And then the solution to the whole thing, like him trying to resurrect their mother, that's just something I didn't expect at all. And it just, yeah, I, I really don't know what to say. I'm just, I'm really amazed by it. I really loved it. And yeah, that's it. Like, I know this video wasn't really long and this spoilery part was not even a minute probably, but I just wanted to say it was her brother. Like, who the hell thought of that? I mean, that's just amazing. Also, what I wanted to mention, I almost forgot this. I really liked it that while I didn't expect it and I was really surprised, after all the clues were mentioned, I could see them looking back, which is something that's really important, I think, because sometimes if it's something like if the solution to the problem or to the story is something really unexpected, you're left feeling like this does not make sense at all. You feel like the author just put something there to surprise you. And in this case, it wasn't like that at all. As I said, I was incredibly surprised. I think most of us were. But still, once you knew all the facts, it made sense. And I think this is something really important to not just put something there because it surprises you, but for it to actually make sense and to fit in with the rest of the story. I think this is really important and it was really, really well done, as was everything in this book. So yeah, let me know in the comments again what you think about this book. If you've already read it, please try to not spoil it anyone else. But just let me know if you were surprised or if you expected it all along. Just, just let me know. Yeah. Bye.